couple weeks ago I did a video talking about my project for 2020 is to make my computer much quieter that I have become very noise sensitive and I just don't want to have all of this sound coming out of my computer even when I'm using headphones you know sometimes you can hear it through the headphones or you can hear it in the background and especially when I'm not using headphones and I'm just trying to get some work for my job done I don't want to hear all this noise I just want something quiet that I don't have to worry about okay so um, I told you guys that I was having some issues and some of them I've resolved and some of them I haven't yet so one of them was my power supply this is a common source of noise for a lot of people's computers is that their power supply fans are always spinning and they are not the best quality fans and they're very loud and annoying, right? So what I did was I went with a Seasonic like premium uh, power supply that had a hybrid mode so the fan doesn't always spin, okay? And it basically never spins unless it's under like extreme load, which it never is because it's very overbuilt, okay? Expensive, yes, but worth it in my opinion because it gave me a quieter computer. Again, the goal that I'm after. Uh, the other thing I did was I went with liquid cooling. Now, you don't have to go liquid cooling. You can go air cooling, but in this case, I can't fit my NHD15, so I went liquid cooling. Now, liquid cooling is dependent on a couple of things. Liquid cooling doesn't inherently mean that your system is quiet. It just means that it has the potential to be because you can spread out that heat over more surface area. Hence why I have two radiators in this case. It also is dependent on your fans and your pump. Now this pump isn't too bad and it is PWM controlled so I can reduce the, the speed of it making it very, very quiet. The fans were the next thing that I needed to tackle. The fans that this kit came with that came with these uh, radiators were EK Vardar fans, which were extremely loud. Not a little bit loud, not kind of loud, very, very loud, okay, extremely loud. So I decided to bite the bullet, and I got three of the Noctua NF A12 by 25 fans, and that drastically helped, but as you can see, I still had two more up here that I needed to fix, which I did, and that's what I'm telling you guys now, is that I did buy two more of these fans. Now, I'll get into these in just a little bit, because that's what I really want to talk about, but just to finish up the recap, I also moved, you can't see this off camera, I moved my hard drives to external. And that has helped quite a bit. You might be thinking, wait, so you moved your hard drive outside of the case and somehow it's quieter? How does that make sense? Well, I don't know if this is with every O11 Dynamic, but with my PC case, the O11 Dynamic, it was resonating and amplifying the sound of my hard drive. So when my hard drives would run, oh my goodness, it was so much louder than if it was just the hard drive outside of the case. Okay, so I know that sounds crazy, but it was true and it was extremely loud and annoying. So I put my hard drives outside in an external hard drive dock. It works just fine and it is quieter, although it is still making noise. This is something that isn't fixed yet. This is just a stopgap solution until I can fix it by getting SSDs. That'll happen later and there'll be another video when I finally do that, but that isn't what I'm doing today. So today I'm talking about these Noctua NF by uh, 12 by 25 fans. All right, these fans are fantastic. They have extremely good performance. They are very, very quiet. They have a six year warranty and have a ton of accessories like um, for radiators. They come with a, like a rubber gasket you put around the fan. They have like rubber dampeners to reduce vibration. They have fan cable extensions. They have RPM reducers. They have fan screws, and all different things like that. So you have every accessory you could ever need for a fan in the box. Six-year warranty, which I don't even know if any other fan company does a six-year warranty, and unparalleled performance and quietness. Fantastic. But they're $30 a fan, and I have five of them. So that's quite expensive, okay? Um, yes, we all know that in most cases, if you do have enough money, you can basically make anything possible. So this is very quiet, and it was kind of an expensive way of doing it. Again, getting a very, very high-end power supply, um, getting very, very high-end fans, going with high-end cooling, and eventually getting all SSD storage. These are all expensive things. So what are some things that you can do um, that aren't so expensive? And I'm going to tell you, and that is fans. Not this fan. This fan is expensive. Really great and worth the price in my opinion, but very expensive. There is a fan out there, though, that comes close to this. Good performance, very quiet, but it's only $10 a fan, meaning three fans for the price of one of these. And that is the Arctic uh, P12 PWM fan. Now, I learned about this fan um, from a channel called the Tech Buyers Guru. I'll link his channel down below, and I'll link to the video that he did down below. He did a roundup video where he took all these different fans and tested them for performance, for noise level, for 
basically usability, all right? And some fans that you would think would do fantastic, such as the Be Quiet Silent Wings 3, um, the uh, Corsair ML120 fans, all right, um, and things like that, to see, well, we, which of these fans is worth it? Some of them are priced around $30 like this fan, and some of them are cheaper and all over the place. Okay, some of them have RGB, some of them don't. And when it comes down to performance, how well they cool and how quiet it is, this fan by Noctua is still the leader, according to his video, which I believe. This fan is still the best. But that Arctic P12 fan, yeah, the Arctic P12 PWM fan is right up there with this one. It's a little bit worse. It's a little bit louder. I mean, very little bit louder. It's a little bit worse in terms of cooling, but I mean, again, a very little bit worse, not a lot worse. But it comes in at one-third the price, so it's a very good value. So for those of you out there, because I didn't know about them either until I saw this video, those fans exist, they are much cheaper, and they do a much better job. Now, in the video, he's going to stress the fact that, you know, it's for radiators. In my experience, radiator fans and work just as fine as case fans do, you know, so, like, you can use them as a case fan, you can use them as a radiator fan, they should work just fine, but definitely crazy good value. So, I'm going to link to his video down below, so you guys can go check, his out, check out his channel, check out his video, and see the testing he did and make your own assumptions and it's kind of crazy when you look at it and see like oh wow that ten dollar fan is beating the be quiet fans it's beating the corsair fans it's ten dollars and it's beating these fans from big name ex expensive fans from big name companies okay um and it just goes to show you that you can't always believe what these bigger youtubers are telling you they're not sitting there next to these computers all day day in and day out and they're not actually spending at least most of the time, they're not spending their own money. They're getting sent these from companies, and so they are, feel obligated to use them, and then they use them in builds, and then people buy them, and then you're dealing with a loud system just because that's what you thought was the best when it really wasn't, okay? I love all these big tech YouTubers, but when it comes to little things like this, they're not really the great source to go to. So some of these smaller channels, like the Tech Buyers Guru, right? That's his channel, the Tech Buyers Guru, his channel, much smaller, but he's doing things like these really detailed case reviews, real world case reviews, I mean case fan reviews, and so that you can see exactly and hear how these fans sound and know which ones are the best value. So yeah, if you have the money and you want to spend it, these fans are fantastic. I can't re recommend them enough. According to his video, the Tech Buyer Buyers Guru, his YouTube channel, that name's a little hard to get out. His, his uh, video shows that the Arctic P12 PWM fan is just as good in terms of value because it's $10. I would recommend that fan to everyone else who wants to save some money yet still have a quiet system. That's why I wanted to make this video to show you guys that, yes, I did do some more stuff and that there are other options if you don't have a lot of money. Most of the time, your, your noise is coming from a fan, so upgrading that to get a quieter fan for $10 is a no-brainer in my opinion. All right, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. What would you do to quiet down your system or to quiet my system down? And I'll catch you guys in the next one.